ಸದಾಶಿವಸಮಾರಂಭಾಂಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯಮಧ್ಯಮಾಂಸ್ಮದಾಚಾರ್ಯಪರ್ಯಂತಂ ವಂದೇ ಗುರುಪರಂಪರಾಹನಾವತು ಸಹ ನೌ ಭುನಕ್ತು ಸಹ ವೀರ್ಯಂಕರವಾವಹೈ ತೇಜಸ್ವಿನಾವಧೀತಮಸ್ತು ಮಾ ವಿಷಾವಹೈ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಓಂ ಪಾರ್ಥಯ ಪ್ರತಿಬೋಧಿ ಭಗವತ ನಾರಾಯಣೇನ ಸ್ವಯಂ ವ್ಯಾಸೇನ ಗ್ರಥಿ ಪುರಾಣ ಮುನಿ ಮಧ್ಯೆ ಮಹಾಭಾರತ ಅದ್ವೈತಾಮೃತವರ್ಷಿ ಭಗವತಿ ಅಷ್ಟಾಧ್ಯಾಯಿ ಅಂಬತ್ವಾಮನುಸಂದಿ ಭಗವದ್ಗೀತೆ ಭವದ್ವೇಷಿ ಯಂ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ವರುಣೇಂದ್ರರುದ್ರಮರು ಸ್ತುನ್ವಂತಿ ದಿವ್ಯೈಸ್ತವೈ ವೇದೈಸ್ಸಾಂಗಪದಕ್ರಮೋಪನಿಷದೈ ಗಾಯಂತಿ ಯಂ ಸಾಮಗಾ ಧ್ಯಾನಾವಸ್ಥಿತ ತದ್ಗತೇನ ಮನಸ ಪಶ್ಯಂತಿ ಯಂ ಯೋಗಿನ ಯಾಂತಂ ನ ವಿದುಸುರಸುರಗಣ ತಸ್ಮೈ ನಮಃ ದೇವಾಯ ತಸ್ಮೈ ನಮಃ ಓಕೆ we can chant from uh, 28 onwards <clears throat> shubha shubha phalai revam shubha shubha phalai revam moksha se karma bandhanaih moksha se karma bandhanaih sanyasa yoga yukta atma sanyasa yoga yukta atma ವಿಮುಕ್ತೋ ಮಾಮುಪೈಷ್ಯಸಿ ವಿಮುಕ್ತೋ ಮಾಮುಪೈಷ್ಯಸಿ ಸಮೋಹಂ ಸರ್ವೂತು ಸಮೋಹಂ ಸರ್ವೂತು ನ ಮೇ ದ್ವೇಷ್ಯೋಸ್ತಿ ನ ಪ್ರಿಯ ನ ಮೇ ದ್ವೇಷ್ಯೋಸ್ತಿ ನ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಯೇ ಭಜಂತಿ ತು ಮಾಂ ಭಕ್ತ ಭಜಂತಿ ತು ಮಾಂ ಭಕ್ತ ಮಯಿ ತೇಷು ಚಾಪ್ಯಹಂ ಮಯು ತೇಷು ಚಾಪ್ಯಹಂ ಅಪಿ ಚೇತ್ ಸುದುರಾಚಾರ ಅಪಿ ತೇತ್ ಸುದುರಾಚಾರ ಭಜತೆ ಮಾಮನನ್ಯ ಭಾಕ್ ಭಜತೆ ಮಾಮನನ್ಯ ಭಾಕ್ ಸಾಧುರೇವ ಸಮಂತವ್ಯ ಸಾಧುರೇವ ಸಮಂತವ್ಯ ಸಮ್ಯಕ್ ವ್ಯವಸಿತೋ ಹಿ ಸಹ ಸಮ್ಯಕ್ ವ್ಯವಸಿತೋ ಹಿ ಸಹ ಕ್ಷಿಪ್ರಂ ಭವತಿ ಧರ್ಮಾತ್ಮ ಕ್ಷಿಪ್ರಂ ಭವಂತಿ ಧರ್ಮಾತ್ಮ ಶಶ್ವಾಂತಿ ನಿಗತಿ ಶಾಂತಿ ನಿಗತಿ ಕೌಂತೆಯ ಪ್ರತಿ ಜಾನೀ ಕೌಂತೆಯ ಪ್ರತಿ ಜಾನೀ ನ ಮೇ ಭಕ್ತ ಪ್ರಣಶ್ಯತಿ ನ ಮೇ ಭಕ್ತ ಪ್ರಣಶ್ಯತಿ ಮಾಂ ಹಿ ಪಾರ್ಥ ವ್ಯಪಾಶ್ರಿತ್ಯ ಮಾಂ ಹಿ ಪಾರ್ಥ ವ್ಯಪಾಶ್ರಿತ್ಯ ಏಪಿ ಸ್ಯು ಪಾಪಯೋ ನಯ ಏಪಿ ಶುಜು ಪಾಪಯೋ ನಯ ಸ್ತ್ರೀಯೋ ವೈಶ್ಯಾಸ್ತೂದ್ರ ಸ್ತ್ರೀಯೋ ವೈಶ್ಯಾಸ್ತೂದ್ರ ತೇಪಿ ಯಾಂತಿ ಪರಾಂ ಗತಿ 
ಭಕ್ತಾರಾಜರ್ಷಯಸ್ತಥಾರಾಜರ್ಷಯಸ್ತಥಾಮಸುಖಂ ಲೋಕಂ ಅನಿತ್ಯಮಸುಖಂ ಲೋಕಂ ಇಮಂ ಪ್ರಾಪ್ಯ ಭಜಸ್ವ ಮಾಂ ಇಮಂ ಪ್ರಾಪ್ಯ ಭಜಸ್ವ ಮಾಂ so bhagwan shri krishna was continuing the bhakti mahatmyam the glory of bhakti in these last few shlokas and we encountered a shloka number uh, 32 the previous shloka that we completed in the last class where we had this discussion okay it's a fairly straightforward shloka actually but because of these words striyaha vaishyaha shudraha and all that subject to gross interpretation literally taking the word as a gross thing you will, then the interpretation will become gross correct striyaha if you take it as a woman physical woman you know we identify a woman oh she is she and he is he so that kind of idea if you look at it then the shloka will take us nowhere <clears throat> and so we said no it is not a she etc it is the it is the guna stri guna in fact stri also i don't like to use a guna emotionally weak person okay such a person also has access to bhagavan without any intermediary so that intermediary is key that is what distinguishes sanatana dharma from every other major religion we see other religions need intermediaries <coughs> remember <coughs> so striyaha vaishyaha shudra so having said that then what to talk of these people who are uttama gunaha okay here refer to krishna says brahmanaha uttama gunaha uttama guna purushaha sattva pradhana purushaha and then rajarshayaha people who are who are given who 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 are rajap rajap rajo pradhana purushaha backed by sattva okay so we need such people society is protected by such people means physically protected by such people they are the ones who are able to provide that protection that mindset people with that mindset and uh, and so the in in uh, sanskrit the word for these these words the, you know this vyavastha brahmana kshatriya vaishya shudra is called varnaha varnaha and the word varna comes from the dhatu called vr and if you look up the meaning of vr you will find to choose to choose that means i i have the ability the human being has gave, has been given the ability to choose what varna he or she wants to belong to means what means i can choose to use my mind or not use my mind it's up to me the choice is given to me and the more i use my mind then more uttama guna i will become very obvious the more i think about the consumption that's going on in this world and the more i see ozone layer depleting and all kinds of unusual weather patterns happening the more i will change my behavior that's all it is or if i keep saying no nothing will happen and all this plastic floating in the ocean and all i it doesn't strike anything that i think it doesn't doesn't create any worry in me okay and somebody had a worry 
that person worried that uh, my god people are using so many plastics what should i do so a lot of things we can do and so but that worry is there that worry means it is a sign of maturity it's a sign of maturity i have to worry about some of the things that are going on worry means think about that's what i mean i must something must strike me my god so much pollution from industries this is not going to help us you know that, that's good that's that's viveka so therefore that brood to choose very important so these people who talk about caste and all that okay they need to rethink the whole thing and caste system and the abuse is not warranted using a particular varna and then trying to abuse that person by saying no you are this and i am upper i am higher therefore you have to listen to what i say this is not acceptable this is not acceptable and uh, every human being has to be respected equally and so and that's something in the us is very interesting i learned that is very you know everybody will call will be called by first name basis hey john hey hey elaine how are you so this, whether the janitor also is called elaine ceo also is called elaine that's it over elaine will call elaine elaine will call her also elaine over sir Sir, 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 all this sir, sir business is Indian problem. And I think it's somewhat of a problem. Respect is good. Namaskara is good. And uh, calling people by their names, uh, you know, uh, I don't know, Peripa, Chittapa, Chitti, all that, we use all these words to relate to our, our uh, relatives, which is also excellent. But that does not in any way reduce the respect that the grandfather has to give to the granddaughter respect this is always is equal mm. anyway so here very important shloka again says if those adhama guna guna purushaha and adho madhyama guna purushaha which we studied in that shloka if they also have equal access to me then what to talk of these uttama guna purushaha brahmanaha and this uh, madhyama guna purushaha rajashayaha and uh, in this shloka, see, you've got Puna Brahmanaha, Punyaha, Bhaktaha, Rajashayaha are in Samanadi Karanya, right? They are all words which are referring to people. In Sanskrit, you have to decide which is a noun and which is an adjective or is everything a noun? Those questions will come, right? So here the nouns are Punya and Bhakta. They are the nouns. And uh, the other words are adjectives. That is a way to look at it. Okay. Punya. Shakracharya says Punya Yonaya. Guess why, why he says Punya Yonaya. Hmm? Can anybody guess why Shakracharya says Punya Yonaya? Yeah, referring to the previous shloka ah, Papa yeah. Papa yeah. Good start. Oh, previous shloka, uh, Gita Charya said the Papa Yonaya. Therefore, Shkrajari says Punya means Punya Yonaya. Those who have a great start in life, such people. And Bhaktaha, those who, who are devoted right from the get go. And uh, for them, they are shocked that somebody cannot believe in God. How come you can't believe in God? Does it matter? You can't see God and all? Okay, that is fine. Don't worry. You don't have to see. I don't see your brain. Does it mean you don't have a brain? A lot of things we don't see. <laughs> I still believe you have a brain. Okay. I st I'm giving you a benefit of doubt. You have a brain. Okay. Even though I don't see it. So why don't you believe in God? So, like that, some people may be shocked that somebody can be a not, cannot believe something, believe in Bhagavan. So, uh, so Bhakta, they are all called what Bhakta, and uh, this Punya and Bhakta, Punya, they have an advantage. Swamiji says advantage, like in tennis, tennis, you know, advantage. So, who, I don't know who the latest prayers are, but you know, advantage something, the John, they say something like that. And so, our last name they will use, I think. So, 
Doesn't matter. See, if I my mech control lentil, all these names come to my mind. I need to change that language because that's not the modern name, you know. We have to connect it. I can't keep saying mech control, mech control for 100 years, keep on saying mech control. Hey, mech control is gone. You give credit to the people who are playing now. So I need to do some homework there. I'm not getting time for all these things. <laughs> So, so, so Swamiji says, advantage, and then you have to take advantage of the advantage. Otherwise, <laughs> otherwise what will happen? Then the other person will get the advantage. So, like that, like that. So, then the adjectives are this Brahmanaha and Rajarshaya. They are adjectives. Punyaha, who are, who have this Uttama Gunaha, and then are Bhaktaha, and then Punyaha, Bhaktaha, who have that madhyama guna 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 hand when they have they are called rajashaya right so that's one way to look at it other way also is okay punyaha those who have an advantage great life great family they are born and those who are devoted those who have this uttama gunaha and those who have uh, this madhyama guna all of them also Either way, you can take it. Okay, all four nouns you can take, or two nouns, two adjectives you can take. Okay, so Swamiji says two nouns, two adjectives. Think about it. Think about it. Okay, and uh, then having said that, he then says, of course. Bhajaswa maam, condition, Bhagavan always puts a condition. I am accessible, but Bhajaswa, you got to make up your mind whether I am worthy or not. I am worthy or not. So Bhajaswa maam, maam Bhajaswa, maam Bhaja Bhajaswa. I think Bhaja Sevayam is uh, Ubhayapadi because Bhaja Govindam, correct? Bhaja Govindam, it doesn't say Bhajaswa Govindam. So I think Bhaja must be Ubhayapadi, that's my guess, okay? You can check that out. Uh, so, Artha Bhaktaha, Arti Bhaktaha, Jignasu Bhaktaha, Jnani Bhaktaha, all, I am accessible to everybody. So, I am not going to be partial. Okay. So, that he said, that is a condition, Bhajasvamam. But then, somebody comes and says, no, I will do that. I know it's important. You don't have to tell me again and again. I am waiting for my retirement. Only in, in, in 15 years, I will retire. Okay. And once I get my children married and all these things, uh, you know, you know, all these duties are important. You only, Krishna only said these duties are important. <laughs> why, why are you telling me to study Bhagavad Gita now? And uh, to that, to that, <laughs> Krishna is saying, look at this. Imam Lokam Anityam, he says. Yeah. Retirement is good. I'm glad you at least when you're retired, you want to study. That is a good start, no doubt. But then, imam lokam anityam. Means what? This whole world, this life, everything is anityam. Anityam means what? You are assuming that you are going to retire, correct? It's an assumption. You have to be alive in order to retire. <laughs> Suppose I'm not alive tomorrow. Then what happens? The company will just be forced to retire me. Early retirement, it's called. Early involuntary retirement, not voluntary retirement. Voluntary retirement is different from involuntary retirement. Involuntary retirement is getting fired also. But here I don't exist. I can't even look for a new job. So, hey, my dear friend, Dimam Lokam Anityam. This world is impermanent, my dear. Everything is changing constantly. Tomorrow we don't know what's going to happen. And so, no, no, that's fine. I know you, you. I know that Guruji. I know all that. But you know, life expectancy. You know, it's. I, I, you have been watching the news. It's going up. Forty-five, and then fifty, and then on so many years ago it was fifty-five, sixty, sixty-five. Now it's trending up. Medical, uh, you know, science has gone. It's improving. It's not reducing. It's improving. Therefore, my chances of living longer is 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 getting higher every day. <laughs> so like that, if he argues. We will say Tathastu only. We don't say anything more. Okay, Tathastu. Good. I'm glad you're analyzing all these things. Very good. Very good. And so, then again, all this Janma Mrityujara Vyadi Dukkha Doshanu Darshanam is going to come later on. 
in the uh, 13th chapter it will come he is going to say hey wait a minute this anityam bhagavan will explain gita charya will explain anityam anityam so what is anityam janma so there is dukkha there is this uh, dosha of this life this life is, has doshas that is the same thing here uh, anityam what are the anitya aspects janma hey look the fact that there is janma means you, something should strike you that mrutyu is going to come later so you can't take it for granted because nobody wants to die that's the problem if i'm okay dying then that's fine no problem we don't need bhagavad gita at all bhagavad gita is not needed a cow doesn't need bhagavad gita because it's not worried about death okay it wants to live no doubt but it doesn't have any conflicts based on that there are no emotional problems cow doesn't have cow doesn't worry that my his horns are more symmetrical and long than my horns okay he doesn't have any such worry his horns are so nice look at that like this okay like this like this nice see my horn is somewhere something happened why is my why my, my horn is like this huh that's it life long problem crisis live with crisis no such a cow doesn't exist so cow does not need bhagavad gita it doesn't need all this art of living programs and this and that it doesn't like all that our sadguru programs you know we have so much going on so much going on my goodness our people are conducting courses also on this so important it is okay and there is not going to be any end to this because people need it people need all these things so he is going to say janma mrutyu then if you say no i am not worried about death i am too young they okay jara old age oh old age i told you just now i am young did you listen what to what i am saying oh okay okay old age okay jara then vyadhi what about disease you not worried about disease also oh disease also is a problem i see correct anybody can be sick at any time from a young age the child realizes cold then say goes to school brings fever and temperature and then everybody else at home gets fever and then so this child slowly learns oh my god something called disease so vyadhi no no i am doing all yoga this program i am that have been pretty good last 4 5 years i have not become sick last 4 5 years if you have not become sick that means if you have a very high chance that you are going to be sick tomorrow in fact i was sick only last week so tomorrow i am fairly certain i will not have a flu but you i my dear friend you better be careful five years you haven't been sick you better be careful so therefore bhagwan says imam lokam anityam this long life idea i think it's a very interesting thing we all think you know uh, yeah 100 years 90 years 80 years it's a reasonably long life uh, compared to what compared to this dogs they say 10 years 15 years the dog lives and then uh, mosquitoes flies and all that we don't know few days maybe maybe few weeks butterflies i don't know how long they live must be a very short span and uh, so compared to them obviously long life but shri krishna already introduced us to a shloka what is the shloka sahasra yuga paryantam aharyat brahmano vidu so i think in this this chapter only we ninth chapter when we started we the shloka came सहस्रयुगपर्यतम अहर्यद्रह्मणो विदु रात्रि युग सहस्रातेहोरात्रो विदु ई थिंक दट इज अ श्लोक सो देर हिस् हिस् गिविंग एस एन ऐडिया ऑफ हौ लांग लाइफ स्पैन कैन बी एंड ब्रह्माजी लाइफ स्पैन इज द लांगेस्ट जीवा ओके ऑल दीज थिंग्स डोंट आस्क मी टू गो थ्रू द कैलकुलेशन यू कैन गो बैक एंड लुक अप युअर नोट्स So one yuga is equal to 432,000 years, and therefore chatur yuga, chatur yuga is 10 is 10 yugas really. Therefore, it is 4.32 million years, and then 100,000 chatur yugas is one half day of Brahma. Therefore, that is 4.32 into 10 to the power of 9, 4.32 billion years, and then two of that multiplied by two, and therefore whatever that is 4.32 billion into two, and then. Hundred years, so into three sixty five into hundred. So that comes to roughly four point three two into ten to the power of twelve or whatever some number will come. So that is the longest lifespan. Yeah, compared to that lifespan, why did he say all that? Anityam lokam. Hey, you are you are saying you are giving a long life. 
he lived a long life of 100 years 120 years okay good so that's you're blessed but what did you accomplish in that 120 years did anybody will anybody cry for you or no if you pass away how many people will cry for you that's a sign that you've done something to society and so uh, the living long and all it's it's of no use there are there are animals that do good to others the ants you know what ants role in in our ecosystem if you read it you'll be amazed there it seems their role is so important that they are burrowing this sand and all that and they create some aeration and uh, uh, and things like that long ago i read that if you remove all ants out life will perish in in 50 years life will perish on earth it seems this is what they say so every animal however minute has a role bacteria and all of course good bacteria are always there and all bacteria has have a role to play so there is no question so therefore what role can i play in life is the only question i can ask and so we are all named nitya and all that why should i be if imam lokam anityam why should parents give me a name called nitya the question should arise nitya whole world is impermanent but i am nitya somebody should ask the question or nityananda name is given for a male person Nityananda, what a name it is. And so, who is Ananda? Who is Nitya in this uh, Anityam Imam Lokam? Where is this, where is the room for Nitya? Where is the room for Ananda? There is no room for it. But yet, I am Ananda, I am Nitya, etc. Means there is some connection, something. The society is telling me something. The day I was born itself, they have, they have told me, Hey, you are Nit An Nitya, not Anitya. Okay. Go figure out. You've been given a life, you're standing on two legs, go figure it out. Okay. So that should that's how we should be. And then and if I'm still not convinced, he says, Asukam. Asukam. Then Mamrutu Jara Vyadi. So this uh, dukkha is there. Dukkha doshanu darshan. The last thing is dukkha. That is, Krishna puts it last. Very interesting. Janma. Are you worried about Janma? yeah still born one can be still born you know the child can die as soon as it's born okay so janma no i am it's long I've, I've been born for many years now so therefore i don't have to worry about janma then mrityu death are you worried about death no i'm not worried about that okay janma mrityu jara old age no old age is far away okay old age is not for me all right vyadi disease yeah, disease, I can handle disease. Okay, once in a while I get flu, so what? We need to learn, we need to deal with all these things, okay? All right, deal with uh, disease. Then what? Dukkha, sorrow. This is a problem, sorrow. And so, any moment I can be sorrowful. So, here he says, Asukam. This lokam is what? Asukam. Asukam means what? It gives sorrow give sorrow it is it, it seems to give sorrow to people people remember sorrow more than ananda you know and uh, i went to all these places but here i lost my bag okay the last my bag is the one that's there i lost some money i lost my wallet because the, the wallet is a very concentrated piece of you know thing that we have and it has all these credit cards and this card and other card and pan card and whatnot it has and uh, so obviously if you lose it it's a big headache and uh, fortunately nobody can use a credit card uh, at least uh, debit card they can't use without a pin credit card uh, of course credit card can be used i suppose but yeah it's a big headache so asukam he says this is all asukam the great trip is ruined by something asukam and uh, See, this prefix I is there, correct? A little bit of technical thing I want to tell you. Very beautiful it is. This prefix is called in Sanskrit Nanj. Nanj. N A N J or N U N J, whatever. Nanj. As a prefix. It's not I, I is not the prefix. Nanj becomes Akara. Then it drops off and all some rules are there. 
and so this prefix this negative particle when it comes in front of a word like adharma asukam anityam etc that nunj negative particle can have five six meanings six meanings are there for this particle okay let me tell you these six meanings okay first meaning first meaning likeness likeness if you want to indicate the likeness to something okay this animal is similar to that animal you use the nunj particle it is not the, the 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 reindeer is not your common deer but it's like the deer something like that for that you say a deer okay so you have to say something like that okay i'll come to that later this is first likeness which is the most odd usage of nunj correct because you are thinking negative but here it is meant to indicate likeness okay i'll give an example they use the word called abrahmana the stock exam abrahmana abrahmana means okay abrahmana means like a brahmana but not a brahman like a brahmana but not a brahmana for example what somebody is you see somebody with all this patai all this vibhuti kumkumam and all that and uh, this is uh, Right. A, then you have somebody tells him no, he is an actor. Just he came out of the stage, okay? He is acting in some some drama. Where the so he is he is like, looks like a Brahmana, but he is not a Brahmana. Okay, he is something else. Or Ravana also came like this, dressed like a sannyasi, a sannyasi. So there sannyasi and came to this Sita's cottage. And so what do you tell him? A sannyasi. A sannyasi looks like a sannyasi, but not a sannyasi. So there, the looks like is indicated by the particle nunj, which is a. Okay. Then tad sadrishyam tad abhavascha abhava absence absence like akrodha correct akrodha is not like krodha. It is absence of anger akrodha. So somebody who is free from anger. Or, or uh, highlighting that attribute of absence of anger, so such is very important for a person to develop. So, tadabhava. Huh? This example is akrodha. Huh? Next, tadanyatvam, anyatvam, other. It to indicate something other, something other than what is being is there. Okay, like apataha, aghataha. Okay, it is no. It's not a pot. It's not a cloth. No, no, no. It's not an animal. Hmm. So, uh, amruga ha. No, no, no. I, see, I've given you a quiz and I'm asking you a question, and uh, I have to tell you, no, it's not an animal. It's a living being, but not an animal. Yes, they say amruga ha. Not an animal. Amruga ha. So tad anyatvam, then tad alpata, to indicate reduced quantity, to indicate indicate what reduction compared to other things low, low in quantity, okay diminutiveness, smallness, etc. Okay, so that is another uh, meaning for uh, this nunj particle. Okay. Ashraddha, Ashraddha, somewhere Krishna has used the word Ashraddha Dhanascha, like that we saw somewhere, okay. Ashraddha means what? Absence of Shraddha or reduced Shraddha, okay. Ashraddha, I will give another example, this may be a better example. Dhanika, Dhani means what? Wealthy person is a Dhani, Dhani or Dhanika. Dhani. So, Adhani. Adhani means what? Absence of dhanam or having little dhanam, less dhanam. It has to be less because even the poorest person has one rupee in his hand, ten rupees in his hand. So, 
therefore nobody is, can say i don't have any money the only people who say i don't have any money is when the homeless person approaches sir 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 and say no i don't have any money i don't have any money hey you're sitting in a taxi and you're saying you don't have any money taxi air condition that too and uh, so that that is that is that that there is a feeling there that i don't have any money or you another another condition where this people say i don't have any money that is when you ask somebody for a donation and i have been doing it for the since 2006 because 2006 we conducted a program in houston that was the first program we were all involved in and swami ji had come etc and so we had to seek donations for all these things and so from then onwards i been begging 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 really i'm telling you, i've asked money from so many people i am now not scared of asking money but now i have reduced all that and this time our friends my advisors our mohan sai and vijay and narayan and all they told me no no mahesh ji they said you know jay kumar ji sending from archa seva kendram this email and all will is not good you have to send it as from jay kumar ji it's coming and only then people will respond to this this appeal otherwise they would they will just delete the mail so archa seva kendram it become a very boring name so i said oh my god so i then i have to send the narayan ji figured out a way to put my name i didn't come up from my email address okay i think they know how to do all these things so therefore that is another occasion when people say i don't have any money i say i mean be truthful i hey, am committed already and so i this time can you excuse me and let's let, let, let's time let's see like that you can say so like that this is another example for what nanj particle right alparthe tad alpata then aprashastyam very important aprashastyam means what prashastyam means praiseworthy aprashastyam is the opposite of that something that is that is not praiseworthy okay something that is despicable or something that is not not good okay like like akaryam akaryam mother tells the son what happened in school today or oh, the teacher asked where is the homework what did you did you do the homework no i did not do what did you tell her i said i was sick therefore i couldn't do but you were not sick okay at least last 5 6 months you were not sick what happened akaryam what you did is akaryam you should not have done it okay akaryam you should not have done it karyam means to be done akaryam means not to be done okay or akalam akalam means no not appropriate not the right time akalam kalam means time akalam is not the appropriate time let's wait for a little longer now is not the right time to see a doctor for this problem because why lockdown pandemic this and that so let's wait for a while in fact hospitals are saying that we will only undertake absolute emergency procedures and so forth anything that is not emergency just postpone postpone for a few weeks for months let's assess it later okay it's called akalam so what is the meaning of that aprashas aprashastyarthe aprashastyam okay then last sixth virodharte aprashastyam virodascha virodascha virodha means opposite opposite you want to indicate the opposite meaning like dharma adharma opposite correct these are opposites and you have to think what is what is the uh, whether it is opposite or alpata nyunam okay it makes you think is it not whether it is absence of or whether it is opposite of ajnanam means what ajnanam is opposite or absence of jnanam ajnanam absence of knowledge or opposite of knowledge now that we know the six things one of which is opposite one of which is absent one of which is alpata little less very less 
So you have to ask all these questions when you get words like that. So Ajnanam we say will be opposite of last category Virodharte. Not absence of Jnanam. Absence of Jnanam does not exist. Jnanam is always there. Jnanam Asti. Therefore, uh, if we think that, oh, I gained the knowledge. Previously, I did not have the knowledge of COVID-19. Now I have the knowledge of COVID-19. Some knowledge I have. So that is okay to say. But really speaking, knowledge always is. And so Ajnanam was obstructing that. That's what we say. Okay. So anyway, just some technical aspects of this, this, this nunge particle, which appears as a A. Okay. And A, when A follows Sukham, it is Asukham. But I mean, when A pre uh, precedes Sukham, it is Asukham. When A precedes Atma, yeah. Anatma. 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 Why, what happened? Why Na also comes there? So obviously, because A Atma doesn't, doesn't, is, A Atma will be continue to be Atma because A plus A also is A only. So, and, and this is an Agama will come. This Nukka Agama or something will come. Nutta or Nukka. I forget what it is now. But that is what is this Anatma. So, whenever the Nanj prefix is followed by a word which begins with a vowel, then this Nukka Agama will come. Okay. Anyway, this is just a technical discussion, not necessarily, not required for understanding this shloka. Okay. So, we're done with this. Let's do. Uh, Let's uh, look at the meaning. Then, comma, then, what to talk of? Guna Brahmana, huh? What to talk of Guna Brahmana, huh? Who have fortunate births? Who have fortunate births. And are devoted. Comma. And also. So or comma. So too. Comma. The sage kings, sage hyphen kings, the sage kings, Rajarsha, Yaha, question mark, so too, comma, the sage kings, question mark, having gained this world, comma, having gained this world which is impermanent or non-eternal you can use whichever word you like which is impermanent and of little happiness look at that little happiness correct what is the meaning what of the which of the five meanings a six which are the six Alparte. Correct. Alpata. Correct. And of little happiness. Because happiness is there. Nobody can deny happiness. That is what makes us seek happiness. If I didn't know what happiness was, I cannot seek happiness. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, uh, which is impermanent and of little happiness, comma, may you seek me. May you seek me. Bajaswama. So let's. Uh... Can you repeat one more time, please? Yeah. Then what to talk of Guna Brahmana, huh? who have who have fortunate births and are devoted, comma, so to comma, the sage kings? Question mark. Having gained this world, comma. 
which is impermanent and of little happiness, comma, may you seek me. So we have just the right amount of time to look at the next sloka. Anityam, is that uh, uh, Anyatvam or uh, Virodharte? Is it Anyatvam or Virodharte? Okay. My guess is going to be Virodharte. You know why? Anyatvam means there are many, th many things are there and among which it's not Nitya. There are no many things. There is only either Nitya and Anitya. That's all are there. Therefore, opposite. Like Dharma, Adharma. There is only Dharma or Adharma. There is no, there is no third thing. Okay. Yeah. Therefore, I, I take it as opposite. Virodharte. Okay. Next. Manmana Bhava Mad Bhaktaha. Manmana Bhava Mad Bhaktaha. Madhyaji Maam Namaskuru. Madhyaji Maam Namaskuru. Mame Vaishyasi Yuktvaivam. Mame Vaishyasi Yuktvaivam. Atmanam Matparayanaha. Atmanam Matparayanaha. Manmana Bhava Madhbhaktaha. Manmana Bhava Madhbhaktaha. Madhyaji Maam Namaskuru. Madhyaji Maam Namaskuru. Mame Vaishyasi Kaunteya. Mame Vaishyasi Yuktvaivam. Correct, that's better. Evam, Ila Yuktvaivam. Atmanam Matparayanaha. Atmanam Matparayanaha. Om Tatsat. Om Tat Sada Iti Shri Mad Bhagavad Gita Su Iti Shri Mad Bhagavad Gita Su Upanishad Su Upanishad Su Brahma Vidya Yam Brahma Vidya Yam Yoga Shastre Yoga Shastre Shri Krishna Arjuna Samvade Shri Krishna Arjuna Samvade Raja Vidya Raja Guhya Yogo Nama Raja Vidya Raja Guhya Yogo Nama Navamodhya Yaha Navamodhya Yaha Yeah. So here again. He, Krishna is introducing four words. What are those four nouns here? Manmanaha, Madbhaktaha, Madhyaji, okay? Madparayanaha. Okay? So these are the four nouns that are used here. Four nouns. Like, like in the previous shloka also, four nouns were used. So here all are nouns. Okay? So let's look at it. Manmanaha. Manmanaha, even though it says Naha, it is Ekavachanam, okay? Because Manas here, I think Gita Charya is using it in Ekavachanam. Manmanaha, Manaha, mind, Man, me. Let your mind be focused on me. Let your mind, let you be one whose mind is committed to me. Commitment is the meaning here. Manmanaha. One who is committed to me. Manmana bhava. Bhava means be. You be somebody who is committed to me. Okay. Why committed to me? Because you understood this artha and kama is not really going to finally help me. I need some artha and kama. Body needs a little bit of artha and kama. All right. But that cannot be my goal in life. Let your goal be me. Manmana ha. Then mat bhaktaha, there mat again comes. Mat means me. That's a, that's a samasa here. Samasa. Mat bhaktaha. May you be one who is devoted to me. Okay, devoted to me. It's a devotion. So love. May you love me. May you love me. What is the meaning of may you love me? <clears throat> See, devotion here is, is this prema swarupa. Here Bhashikara says prema swarupa. 
so in the it is expressed in the form of love why because if i i can't really be committed to ishwara if i if i love if my love is fragmented in so many other things i love a lot of things in this world i love people everything is good that's how the love to ishwara comes anyway but that love to my children and family and all that should not take me away from my love of ishwara it should not distract me okay love should not victimize me i should not allow myself to be victimized by that love the love should empower me okay so i can't say i love my side you know like that thing i don't remember if i mentioned it to you last class one lady came to swami ji and swami ji after listening to all this vedanta swami ji do i have to swami ji, i and uh, you know i have children i have a son just one son okay <clears throat> and uh, this lady comes one son and uh, after listening to you this tyaga bhava and all is there sacrifice and all is there and this raga dvesha everything so swami ji i have given up i have also given up okay what did you give up i gave up vedanta because i had to take care of my son you know so i also had to tyaga okay is that all right so like this people are giving up and so here <laughs> mat bhakta let that love liberate Hey, that love to for your son should help you come to Vedanta, not take you away from Vedanta. And so, Prema Swarupa, then you become a Jignasu after some time. Hey, this is it. And, uh, and, and so, I can love anybody I want. Everybody will love. In fact, everybody will love you more if you come towards Vedanta. Just ask your children. If you have a doubt, just ask your children. Do you like it if I attend classes like this? Dad, that's you're doing a great job. In fact, I'm ch chasing a lot of change in you. You know, I'm seeing a lot of change in you. Children are saying this, so they will get some feedback from those children. And so, mad bhakta ha bhava, and then mad yaji, mad yaji bhava, yaji. When you hear the word yaji, I am reminded of Somaya Juru. Long ago, there was an actor in Telugu. He acted in Shakara Bharanam. His first movie, Somaya Juru. telugu and so means somaya ji that means he is born to a family who know how to conduct the somayaga that is the meaning of somaya ji and madhya ji here madhya ji worship me worship me offer prayers to me okay why you offer prayers because otherwise your love will will not grow and when you offer a prayer you keep me in mind and anyway i have told you all ishta devatas also prayers will reach me so it's okay if you have an ishta devata go to that ishta devata focus on that means what A very important word it is means what means if i worship ganesha then saraswati will be upset if i worship saraswati then krishna is going to be upset hey she's been he's been worshiping saraswati and lakshmi and ignoring me if this is the mindset give up that mindset give up that mindset that is the meaning of madhya ji bhava otherwise people will take it literally krishna is the greatest god rama also bit inferior you can inter interpret like this so many interpretations are there where will you how will you understand all this so sanatana dharma how can sanatana dharma have one so many devatas and one devata is superior devata it's not possible madhya ji means focus on my teaching that is a meaning worship me yes do nam do and then namaskuru also next worship me and namaskuru how do you understand it swami ji shankaracharya surrender surrender the surrender word is also a bit tricky word okay because what will you surrender is the question what will you surrender everything is ishwara so ishwara you can't say this this house belongs to you you can't say that because it's all given by ishwara but the idea that this belongs to me idea that i am a separate entity in this world and these are all my belongings which is okay for transaction purposes you need all the documents and everything so that when somebody comes you can show the piece of paper but okay that's only that is vyavaharika satyam my dear friend you are more than vyavaharika you are paramarthika 
and so this, therefore namaskuru syaja give up that idea give up that idea and what did i tell you earlier prasada buddhi surrender surrender uh, surrender the idea that you somehow i am the cause of all my accomplishments no accomplishments were all available and you were blessed to tap all these things and you became great okay that's a great attitude to have that's it don't talk about it to anybody that's it let people say people will know if they want to know but you are not worried about it so surrender that everything is prasada then ishwara arpana buddhi whatever you are offering offer it as a yagna okay yagna we saw that in the previous chapter and then what and of course dharma dharma is always that whatever i do i will follow dharma no doubt and therefore this is this is all uh, namaskuru surrender this is the meaning of surrender physically prostrating namaskuru is also there physical prostration is excellent you know why to bow your head in front of somebody else somebody told me i will not do namaskar then you know, a long ago somebody told me 25 30 years back i was shocked by that statement indian person okay i was shocked because i that a concept was not there in my head and so i say somebody say i will not do why you will not do namaskara to another human being i can't or that means what to god also problems will be there because god is coming with the elephant head you will say one day then the elephant headed god i can't so all this confusion comes so namaskuru physical namaskara also very important but here it means what it means that it means the kartritvam bhoktritvam all these actions are all surrendered to ishwara okay all right namaskuru then what then mat parayanah last word mat parayanah param ayanam yasya sah the one for whom the end i ayanam means end the goal the goal is what mat i am the goal for this person crystal clear dharma artha kama is not purushartha they are apparently purusharthas but it is all swallowed by the final purushartha called moksha and moksha means means what moksha means going to heaven well heaven is also imam imam lokam anityam here this loka is anitya then you go to heaven there brahma ji will teach the same thing imam lokam anityam imam brahma lokam api anityam he is going to say then you will get a shock of your life oh, i thought brahma loka was nityam no imam lokam anityam this statement is true there also okay imam so that person okay one whose goal is me means his goal is me means uh, uh, that me which which he is going to explain next okay evam yuktva evam yuktva what happens to the person evam yuktva the second sentence okay yuktvaivam so evam yuktva is a way to split it in this manner having prepared yourself yuktva in this manner having committed yourself i mean done your prayers prarthana etc and focused on the teaching yuktva having prepared yourself in this manner what will happen to me what will happen to you arjuna mam eva eshyasi mam eva eshyasi first three words of this first word of this uh, second line mam eva eshyasi you will gain me alone you will gain me another problematic statement correct depending on how you interpret gain me alone you will go to vaikuntha and you will meet me there we will say hi and forever will your life will be happy now because there also krishna has to teach the same thing imam lokam anityam that's what he is going to say you mean swargal you are living krishna you are living in an anityam world is that it yes my dear this world also is anityam maybe not as fleeting as your buloka but still anityam moreover this world may be longer it may live longer than you in fact and for your your life is really anityam very very shaky because your your stay here is dependent on your punya and we don't know when your punya is going to change into papa okay so therefore evam yuktva maam eva ishyasi only way to gain bhagavan is to know that bhagavan is in me bhagavan and me are not different what does shankaracharya say shankaracharya uses the word 
एवं चित्तम समाधाय एवं हैविंग प्रिपेयर्ड योर माइंड इन दिस वे माम एव एश्यसी अहम ही सर्वेशाम भूतानाम आत्मा नोइंग दैट अहम आई एम सर्वेशाम भूतानाम आत्मा आई एम द आत्मा ऑफ ऑल बीइंग्स व्हिच वी ऑलरेडी सॉ इन द नाइन्थ चैप्टर सो मेनी टाइम्स मत्स्तानि सर्वभूतानि ऑल बीइंग्स आर इन मी and then you just hear itself just the previous shloka look at 29 ye bhajantu tumam ye bhajanti tumam bhaktya mayite teshu chapyaham i am in them and they are in me means what there is no difference between me and them essentially me and people essentially therefore maham eshyasi means i am not traveling no travel is indicated okay that's the meaning here that's how krishna concludes here and uh, jay kumarti what does uh, what does shankara say here sorry yeah aham hi sarvesham bhutanam atma that's what he says aham hi sarvesham bhutanam atma i am present as the atma in everybody so where are you traveling to wherever you travel it's me only the body can travel wherever you want wherever the body wants but you don't have to travel my dear friend am eshyasi means by knowing this fact you have gained me as it yes. were gained me in quotes as it were yes. so literally it will be mam eva eshyasi thus you will gain me uh, yeah having prepared yourself in this manner you will gain me thus yes yeah therefore yeah thus you can say that and therefore it is shrimad bhagavad gita so we have seen this before and uh, thus in these in these chapters of the bhagavad gita in these shlokas and uh, which is the which gives the essence of the upanishad upanishad so and the two topics that are being discussed here is brahma vidya and for the brahma vidya what's needed is antakarna shuddhi and that is given by yoga yoga shastra karma yoga shastram whatever yoga you do it's good for you do it you may call it different names but it's called yoga shastra and what is it is in the form of a dialogue between shri krishna and arjuna shri krishna arjuna samvade and uh, it is the ninth chapter and the name of the ninth chapter is what raja vidya raja guhyam very interesting so raja vidya it is the greatest knowledge of all why is the greatest knowledge because it is it gives you parama purushartha moksha no other knowledge can give me moksha it can give me some other accomplishment but it won't give me moksha therefore raja vidya and it is raja guhyam also guhyam means secret and it is the greatest secret so greatest secret it's there available for anybody but apparently not apparently not they say it is difficult and this and that we say so the greatest secret which is an open secret really speaking okay brahma mukhate is there every song has this mantra everywhere this man all our shlokas have this mantras and uh, yet it doesn't seem to be accessible to us therefore greatest secret right and even if you go after it sometimes it's not coming it's like that thing they say you click here and then you click here and then it just moves and then you click there and then the software is designed so it pushes the thing <laughs> moves there is no chance you can click uh, you can outsmart it and all no outsmart not possible so that is why it is raja guhyam and that chapter samaptaha bhavati adhyaya samaptaha bhavati samaptaha samyak aptaha right not just not just finished off or completed it is come to a good good end and in the next class we will see the summary of this chapter okay thank you very much om purnamada purnamidam purnat purnamudachyate purnasya purnamadaya purnameva avashishyate om shanti 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 hari hi om shri gurubhyo namaha hari hi om Thank you very much. Shukmar, you didn't do the translation for this. Yeah, translation. 
Okay, in my rush to complete this slide. <laughs> okay, all right, if you guys can stay back for a couple of minutes. Uh, yeah, may you become one whose mind is committed to me. May you become one whose mind is committed to me, comma, who is devoted to me, who offers rituals unto me, Swamiji is using the word ritual, and ritual means what, how do you understand it? Kāyena, Kāyena vācha manase indriyairva, buddhya atmanava. So all these are instruments through which we offer our prayers. So ritual covers all those things. Okay. By even a bhajan is also a ritual. Meditation is also a ritual. Okay. Okay. Who offers rituals unto me and may you surrender to me. Okay. Who offers rituals unto me and may you surrender to me. Within quotes, full stop. And surrender understood the way we have explained. Okay. Having yourself prepared in this manner, having yourself prepared in this manner, and being one for whom. I am the ultimate end and being one for whom I am the ultimate end so this is a very you see the translation is very very strange because this is not a language we use in our conversations right being one for whom I am the ultimate end means what? This is a way of translating the actual word. In Sanskrit, the words are all like that. And so, mat parayanaha means the one for whom Bhagavan is the ultimate end. Mat parayanaha, correct? Being one means what? That person is already like that and become like that, okay? So, it's a slightly different way of saying it. And it is the name of the person is Matparayana. Name of the person. And so, it's a noun here. Matparayana is not an adjective. And so, this is a very interesting. So, that's why you get these kinds of translations. And being one for whom I am the ultimate end, comma, you will reach me, comma. I forgot to mention this. Reach me, Mam Eva Ishesi. Then Atmanam, I forgot to mention. Okay, Atmanam. Here it says, meet me, the self alone. So you will reach me, comma, the self alone. You will reach me, Mam Atmanam. Look at that. Mam is, if you think Mam is Krishna, then Atma is coming right next. Krishna is providing that adjective. Atmanam. This Atma is not different from Krishna, my dear friend. Therefore, that Atma, so that self is indicated here. Beautiful. So let me read this again. May you become one whose mind is committed to me, comma, who is devoted to me, comma, who offers rituals unto me and may you surrender to me, full stop, having yourself prepared in this way and being one for whom I am the ultimate end, comma, you will reach me, comma, the self alone. This translation given by Pujya Swamiji. 